Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install the PSP Go Clock on your PSP 2000 or 3000. Now if you're unfamiliar with how the PSP Go Clock looks like, I have one here. And basically when you turn it on and you shut this, you'll get this really cool feature, this clock that shows up. And if you hit the left and right button, it kind of hits the waves and hits the little icons that are floating around. Very nice. And if you hit both buttons, you'll get this nice calendar. Very cool. So unfortunately, this will not work for the PSP 1000 due to some kind of memory bug that was mentioned in the notes of this plugin. And here is my PSP 2000. And all I have to do is hit the home button. Oops. Hit the home button. And there is the clock. And it's exactly the same as the PSP Go here. And this feature is already included with the PSP Go, so there's no need for you to do that on your console. Hitting the left and right will bounce the waves a little bit. And hitting them both will bring up the calendar. Very nice. So let's head on to our PC and take a look at what we have to do to get this properly installed on our console. Before we go any further, a word from our sponsor. Hey, I'm sponsoring myself in this video. Make sure to check out my website, roblesjr.com. I will be selling these awesome lanyards and these are inspired by just what I do here on the channel. We have PlayStation in Japanese, uh, the PlayStation logo with the cool little slash there on the bottom. We have the uh, play buttons there all scattered and there is my logo pretty solid there's also a black option so if you're interested in getting the black one here it is and for my PSP users I do have a memory card adapter and I did all that by myself and there's the logo at the back pretty cool and these are available for sale on my website so make sure to check those out all you have to do is just pop in your micro SD card and then pop this into your PSP and you should be good to go. Let's pop the 128 in here, just like that. Let's throw that into this one here. And now it's reading. And this will work up to 128 gigabytes. There we go. Now I have all of my games. I have a bunch of them. I have a whole bunch of PSP games. And it works just like a regular micro SD card adapter. So make sure to pick one up at the link in the description down below so that is it for this sponsor thank you so much and i hope you enjoy the rest of this video all right everyone so let's get started by connecting our psp to our pc there's my usb drive for my psp 2000 running off a 32 gigabyte micro sd card so now we're going to download two different things uh, head on over to the first link in the description and that will take you to github.com. Here is the 0VSH patcher version 0 0.4. And we're going to click on the second link here, the one that ends with version 0.4.bin.zip. There we go. And the second link will take you to Mediafire. And we're going to download the version 0 0.2. So hit the download here. And it should start downloading. Very good. And you will need some type of extracting program like 7-Zip or WinRAR. So make sure you have that already installed on your computer. Now let's close out the, or let's minimize the uh, PSP drive here. Let's right click on the patcher version 0.4 and we're going to extract files. Here is the little window, hit OK. And there is our new folder. Let's bring that to the desktop here. And for the .rar file, we're going to right click 7-zip extract files. Hit OK. And there is our new folder installing 0vsh version 0.2. Let's open that up. And we have another folder. And we're going to be using the custom firmware 6.6.0 .6 files. So let's open that up. And what we want to do is copy this VSH folder to the desktop. Let's just bring that over. And we're done with that. 
Now let's open up our USB drive, the PSP USB drive. And we're going to open the 0VSH underscore patcher version 0.4.bin. There we go. And let's go into bin here. And we're going to copy these two files here. So right click, copy. Let's go to our PSP USB drive and go into our SE plugins folder. If you don't have this folder, just right click and create new folder, name it SE plugins. Let's open that up. And here we're going to right click and paste. So we're going to skip these files because I already have it here. And you should now have those two files copied over. We have the 0vsh.ini along with the 0vsh underscore patcher dot prx. Now that's copied over, let's open the dot ini. If you do get a window saying, hey, which program should I open this up with? Just use your notepad. And here under the slide plugin, we want to make sure that this is enabled. By default, it's going to be disabled. So it's going to look something like this. And we want to just say enabled and go to file and save and hit the X button and we're good to go there. Next up, open your vsh.txt file. If you don't have one, all you have to do is right click, hit new text document and rename it vsh.txt and you want to type in this line right there. I'll have this in the description down below for you so you can just right click copy and paste it into your uh, vsh.txt file and you want to hit file and save and you're all set. Next we're going to be going into the slide folder and we have a bunch of files here some of them ending in prx and rcl and you can see that some of them are ending like 63x, 660, 620. And we want to copy the ones that have the 660. So let's hold down the control and click on the 660.prx, the netcon F. Next, we're going to copy the slide plugin 660.prx and the slide plugin 660.rco. So right click, copy. Back on our PSP USB drive, open up your PSP folder. And we want to create a new folder called the VSH. So here it is, ready to go. So right click, new folder, name it VSH. Let's open that up. And here we want to right click and paste. Just like that. Next, we're going to open that VSH folder we copied over from the other uh, version 2.0 folder. So let's open that up. And here, what we want to do is grab everything that's in this folder and copy it over to your new VSH folder on your PSP. Let's close this folder out. And now you should have a total of 30 items in your PSP VSH folder. Now the next thing we're going to do is delete three different files. We're going to delete the netcon F. So just hit delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this file? Hit yes. Next we're going to delete the slide plugin.prx and the RCO. They should be together like that. Hit the delete. Hit yes. Next we're going to rename these three files. So rename. And we want to delete, whoops, we want to delete the 660 along with the underscore. So it should read netcon f underscore bt underscore plugin dot prx. Hit enter. Next, the prx slide plugin. Let's rename. So 660 deleted along with the underscore. Hit enter. And here we're going to rename the last one, the underscore 660 for dot RCO. Hit enter. Very nice. We have all of our files ready to go and the plugin should be working properly. 
we're going to finalize everything on our console so let's go back on our PSP now to finalize this whole setup we want to go to our VSH menu by pressing select go down to your recovery menu and here we want to go under our plugins and we want to find the zero VSH underscore patcher dot PRX and make sure that's enabled go back and you want to reset your device now if you did everything properly all you have to do is press the home button and the clock should show up just like how it is here on my console and the calendar as well so that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up any questions comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you so much for watching take care guys and I'll see you on the next one Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscription button here on my face and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And if you're looking for PSP content, I have that playlist right here for you. And PS Vita content right down below, that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.